All right, let's look at transformations of a parabola. This parabola is f at x equals 2, x plus 4 squared minus 1. We're going to do five different pieces here to look at its transformation. First, we'll describe the transformations using English words. Then we'll write the parent table. We'll look at the function's mapping rule. We'll use that mapping rule to write the function's table. And then we'll state the domain and range. So let's begin our answer. For describing the transformations, first we look inside the brackets with the x. And in there we see there is a shift horizontally, in this case left, by 4. You could also write horizontal translation negative 4. There are many ways to write it, as long as you indicate the correct transformation, the direction, and the quantity. Oh, we're not on part B yet. I still have to describe the other transformations. What's next? Look outside and in front of the brackets, and there you see a 2 which corresponds to a vertical stretch, and in this case, by a factor of 2. Finally, after the brackets, we see this minus 1, which tells us it's going to shift or vertically translate, and it takes us down, because it's negative, by 1. And there's a list of our transformations for this parabola. Let's write the parent table. Well, hopefully you can recognize from the equation, because of the squared, the parent function is y equals x squared. When we're trying to make a table for y equals x squared, we know the vertex of y equals x squared is at 0, 0. So let's pick small numbers on either side of that vertex. I just picked 1, 2, 3 positive and negative 1, 2, 3. On both sides, I have a few numbers. Now just square them. 1, 4, 9. 1, 4, 9. Classic parabola. And you might even know the whole table off by heart. If not, start with the vertex 0, 0, go up by 1 and down by 1, square the numbers, you've got your original table. Now we'll write the mapping rule. The mapping rule says take the points, anything that's in the form x, comma, y, so like negative 3, 9, negative 2, 4, etc. And for all your x's, we're going to subtract 4. Where to get the minus 4 from? Whatever's happening in the brackets with the x, you must do the opposite. In this case, plus 4 means move everything left 4, which we said here, or subtract 4. Then take all your y's and stretch them by 2, so multiply by 2, and then subtract 1. So we take that original parent or base function, and we take all the x's, this column, and subtract 4. You get negative 7, negative 6, negative 5, negative 4, negative 3, negative 2. I'm just going one by one. 2 take away 4, negative 2. 3 take away 4, negative 1. I'll go slower with the y's here. The y's say take each y, times it by 2, and take away 1. Oh, we're on step D now, I should mention. So, times 2. Let's look at this table. Eight, 9 times 2 is 18, minus 1, 17. 4 times 2, 8, take away 1, 7. 1 times 2 is 2, take away 1, 1. 0 times 2 is 0, take away 1, is minus 1. 1. 1 times 2 is 2, take away 1 is 1. And by the way, it's going to be symmetrical again. We're subbing in the exact same numbers. This has to be 7 and 17. Watch, 4. 4 times 2, 8, take away 1, 7. 9, 9 times 2, 18, take away 1, 17. Why did I do it again and just not write the same numbers? I was just checking to make sure I'd done this work correctly. So what's left in this question is just to state the domain and the range. Well, I know this parabola, the base parabola, was just a parabola that opened up. Let's draw a quick sketch of it here. Looks something like this. And what I've done to this parabola is move it left and then stretch it and move it down one. So it's going to look something like this. Moved left four, down one, and stretch two. So it'll be a bit thinner, and it'll be moved over and down. But when it comes to the domain, does it ever stop going left or ever stop going right? Nope. So the domain continues to be x is an element of r. That is, this parabola has no limits on how wide it'll get. Even though it starts narrower, it's going to widen 
forever to the left and forever to the right. What's the range? The range is limited by the vertex. In this case, the vertex is in the same spot in our table that it was before, negative 4, negative 1. You'll be able to see that from the original equation that the vertex was minus 4, minus 1. When we're talking about the range, we're really only worried about the negative 1. And since this parabola opens up, which we could tell from the a value, we know that it's going to be limited here at a height of negative 1 and always be above it. In other words, y is greater than or equal to negative 1. So we write, oh, I had trouble with that curly brace there, so we write, the range is, the set of y is such that y is bigger than or equal to negative 1 at all times, but other than that, y can be any real number. And that's the transformations of f at x equals 2 times x plus 4 squared minus 1.